first got interested in music as a very, very small child, probably three years old. Always listening to radio as a kid, always listening to pop radio in the 60s, the Beatles, you know, the Monkees, the Who, the Birds, all that kind of stuff. Well, currently using the, uh, the Artisan 100, this is my main workhorse for when I'm touring. It's one of the main amps that I use when I'm recording. It's been great. I've been using these for about four years now. And the Artisan is really good. It's a very simple two volume bass mid treble. You know, the four voicings and you know, the presence. It's very, very straightforward amp. I'm not a big fan of amps that have a lot of extra accessories and extra controls. Pretty much if you can't get it done with volume and three EQs, you should maybe not play guitar. <laughs> I don't know what else uh, I would do if I weren't a musician, I guess. Uh, I went to university and studied to be an urban planner, so I guess maybe, I don't know, helping to develop cities. I've never had to find out what my alternate career would be. I've been very fortunate to have had a long career in music basically just hit a chord and went, wow, that sounds exactly like me. And it was literally that simple. So I haven't looked back since. It's a very flexible amp. It's good for all styles of louder guitar music. You know, I usually play in a three piece, so it's a lot of carrying rhythm and lead parts together. The saturation and just the tightness of the low end with the Black Star, I can get a lot of clarity, leaving the high strings droning open. The voicing of the amp is really good for the kind of music that I make, which I guess is alternative music. The Artisan 100 is a great amp. The best piece of advice I would give to a beginner is just you, you really have to put the time and you really have to practice. It seems as time goes on and music changes, and it always does change, you know, we go through phases where there's a lot of people who are into guitar music, sometimes people are more into laptop music. When you're dealing with real instruments, you really, you know, it's rehearsal. You really have to spend a lot of time with your hands on the instrument every day. You don't want to get discouraged. Either we're taught or we read books about it or we emulate things by ear. You know, all of those ways are good, but you know, it's finding your style and finding how you express yourself and then putting in the time with the practice, the muscle memory, keeping your gear in good shape, you know, always being ready. If you're a musician, it's always a good idea to have your stuff packed up and ready to go. You never know when you might get a call to do some work. So always be prepared. <laughs>